Hey, what's up students? In this video, I'll be doing a deck review on the uh, Bicycle Gold Label deck, okay? This is, uh, you know, similar to the Bicycle Standard cards. Bicycle Standard cards are pretty much the most popular, most widely uh, recognized brand of playing cards, uh, definitely here in the US, but also in many other places of the world. Uh, the Bicycle Gold Label deck is similar in a lot of ways, but it's just a higher quality version of the standard bicycles that we're all used to using, okay? So I'm gonna break it down a little bit and show you some of the differences between this and the regular pack. All right, the first thing that you'll notice about the Gold Label Bicycle cards is that it comes in the classic rider back box. Okay, this is the box that used to be widely in circulation, not so much anymore. Now, when you get a standard pack of bikes, they come in a box like this, okay? and then uh, the back of the box is also a bit different. The other thing that you'll notice is that on the gold label decks, uh, you'll have that stamp, that sticker, that points out that it's traditionally cut for professionals. And we'll talk a little bit more about what that means in a second. And then it comes with a gold seal instead of the typical black seal. Okay, so those are some of the aesthetic differences of the box between the gold label and the standard. Um, but here we go, let's talk about the cards. Now, the cards themselves, the the back design, the artwork, everything is completely the same, the faces and the backs. Uh, the difference is in the quality, okay? So there's two main differences here. The first is the stock of the cards, okay? So uh, standard bicycle stock are printed on what's known as uh, bicycle stock cards. All right, I, I, I said that weird. Bicycle cards are printed on bicycle stock cards, which is just refers to the thickness of the cards when they're printed. Okay. Bicycle gold label cards are printed on B stock, which is the same stock that are used for B playing cards, which is a slightly thicker stock. It's a slightly more durable and uh, snappier stock of cards. Okay. So they typically hold up better over time and uh, many card handlers just prefer the feel of a B-stock deck versus a standard bicycle stock. So that's the first difference, okay? The second difference is the way that they are cut, okay? Now, when cards are typically produced, they're printed on a sheet, and then a blade comes down and, and cuts the cards. Now, the direction that the cards are facing when those cards are cut determines the cut of the card. Okay, so you have the standard uh, classic cut, which is what you'll find on the standard decks. And then you have what's known as traditionally cut. And that's where they flip the cards over and then they cut them. The reason they do this, the reason why this is nice for card handlers is because when they're cut in the traditional fashion, certain moves, uh, well, for the most part, it's mainly one move. And that is the Pharaoh shuffle is easier to do. Okay, because there's no such thing as an absolutely 100% straight cut. There's usually a bevel in the cut. So if you were to zoom in, on the cut of the card far enough, you'll notice that there's a bit of a slant, okay? Now, since these cards are traditionally cut, the direction of that slant is opposite of a standard deck, and it makes it easier to weave the cards, okay? You'll notice it's it's uh, very noticeably easier to start that weave and then to follow that weave through to finish your Pharaoh Shuffle. You're gonna have to do a comparison for yourself to, to notice the difference. Um, you know, if you practice your Pharaoh Shuffle and you're weaving enough, you'll be able to do it with any deck, regardless of the way that it's cut. But this is just a nice little edge. It makes it a little bit easier. It makes it more reliable to do these kinds of shuffles, especially if you're doing any uh, any tricks or any effects that require 100% perfect Pharaoh Shuffles, then I would highly recommend, you know, picking up a traditionally cut deck of cards because then you can guarantee that you're gonna get that perfect Pharaoh every time if you practice enough, of course. Okay, so those are the main differences. Again, aesthetically, it's all the same, except for the box, uh, but the cards are the same. It's just a difference in the way that they are printed and the way that they are cut, okay? So this deck right here, this uh, this is actually the same deck that I used to film uh, the Foundations of Card Magic project. So it's uh, about a year old and it's still holding up really well. You'll notice that it's a little bit dirty just because it's kind of old, but one year later, these cards are holding up um, beautifully, okay? The cards still feel amazing. They still spread really nice and they feel like butter. So that is my deck review for the Bicycle Gold Label deck. Uh, we do have these available at the 52 card shop. 
Uh, the best part is, is that the gold label cards, they only cost a little bit more than the standard bicycle cards. So if you're buying online, uh, it's like you might as well get the gold label version. Um, I'll put a link on the screen here and in the description box down below if you want to check out the product page for more information. Uh, we do have them available in red as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this review and uh, we plan on doing uh, more reviews in the future. You can stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.